Hello and welcome back to Technology for Blind YouTube channel. I am back with another video for all of you guys. So this is all about the command prompt in Windows 10. How to use the command prompt as a visually impaired person in Windows 10. Okay. And uh, if you are new here to the YouTube channel, welcome and uh, be sure to subscribe and enable the notification bell so you, you will be notified about uh, future videos. All right. So with that being said, let's get started. Now command prompt um, before we move into the practical part uh, let's see what is command prompt okay now in the early days okay uh, people used to use the computer in a command way okay now in the present state we have the GUI uh, thing which means graphical user interface GUI okay which means we can press buttons click on things all those stuffs okay but in the past about uh, 20 years ago um, they have they had the command line interface cli which which is kind of that if you want to perform an action you have to type uh, and press enter no uh, physical uh, mouse or any other pointing device so that's the era which they had now we have got the gui windows which is kind of very great okay but through the uh, use of command prompt we can achieve a lot more than what we can achieve using the GUI uh, graphical user interface windows okay so I'm not a, an expert on command prompt I do uh, little things uh, to make my life easier now I will show uh, the basics which I know and which I have been using for a long time um, and also I think this uh, this thing will help you in your daily activities uh, performing in your system okay so um, fortunately command prompt is completely accessible um, I mean uh, yeah it's complete accessible you can read whatever it displays like um, yeah it, it, it is great uh, just you have to use object navigation when you have to read the thing again that's all uh, now I'm using NVDA as usual uh, NVDA is my primary screen reader now this is not a kind of a, a professional list I'm uh, I haven't uh, noted anything uh, just I'm gonna demonstrate what I know okay uh, also if you want you can find a ton of commands uh, online uh, if you search for command prompts command or how to use this command how to use that command like uh, in specific commands uh, you can find a ton of information online uh, with nice and clear uh, tutorials all right so with that being said let's get started in uh, command prompt um, to open the command prompt basically there are two ways either you can open the run dialog windows plus r run dialog type the name of a program folder and if you type cmd cmd and if you press enter c backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash cmd.x terminal plan microsoft okay. windows version 10.0.19041.2 this is the command prompt window uh it it has been opened Rate 30 and uh, let's close this alt f4 desktop list Ana another way is go to the start menu start window search window and type cmd command prompt app press right to switch preview you can get the command prompt window okay command prompt terminal c backslash users back now uh, actually when you open the command prompt in run dialog it uh, opens the command prompt and uh, it prompt uh, it redi redirect you to the system 32 folder um, as for uh, if you open the command prompt in start uh, it is in the users folder okay now uh, the, the the only difference between the GUI and the command prompt window is you cannot click things using command prompt but you can click and drag things using GUI that's all the difference uh, the things which you can do using graphical user interfaces are be can be performed by using command prompt uh, with a lot more extens extensive um, functionalities as well right so that's there uh, if you would like to know a lot more uh, things and uh, a lot more uh, how to do things uh, as i said in the earlier uh, you can check out the online articles uh, there are tons of articles as well right so another a small thing now in our case right now command prompt term we have opened the command prompt in a standard way there is another way which you can open the command prompt which is the administrative uh, way like uh, admin uh, thing you can uh, 
search for command prompt in the start menu and if you right click the command prompt uh, applications key if you press the applications key you can find the uh, thing says run as administrator which will uh, elevate the command prompt to the highest level which you can do a lot more things i'm not gonna go in all those things because i don't even know about how those things works because i'm not kind of interested i do basic things using command prompt okay so enough talking let's get to the business now um command prompt now we are in the folder command prompt terminal c backslash users backslash modem ratchet greater than now in my users folder you see colon backslash users backslash mohammad rashad uh, which is my username now if you would like to check what is in the current folder you can press uh, you can type dir 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 okay speak type characters on d i r and if you press enter C backslash users backslash modem ratchet trader and dirt volume and drive C is win 10 volume serial number is 7A2840 directory of C backslash users backslash modem ratchet 813 20 26 54 pm dirt 813 20 26 54 pm dirt 34 20 27 10 pm 95 dot accessibility dot properties 328 20 20 11 17 am dirt dot android 625 20 20 12 52 am dirt 3d objects 4 20 20 20 10 16 pm dirt caliber library okay so these are the folders which are present in my uh, C colon backslash user users backslash Muhammad Rashad folder okay so this is a nice way to check what is in the uh, for uh, contents uh, what, what are the contents inside the folder uh, and also now now since we have pressed control key to uh, stop the speech uh, unfortunately there are, there are no any easier way to get to the uh, list what what's going on so what I uh, have been using is the object navigation Num lock on. Num lock off. Uh, in NVDA now I'm not sure how do you do that in JAWS unfortunately I'm not expert in JAWS but uh, you, you might have an equi equivalent of object navigation I think it's a touch cursor or JAWS cursor or something all right uh, the way which I access these things, uh, the past thing, um, which since we have pressed the control key is by using the review cursor. I think I have mentioned object navigation. It's not object navigation, I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to check text, um, you can use the review cursor in NVDA. Uh, you can use the numpad um, 7 to go to the top. Uh, 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 what is that? Um, we see numpad 7 input L bomb numpad 7 move the review cursor to the previous line of the current navigator yeah. object and speaks it previous line and numpad um what is that numpad 9 move the review cursor to the next line of the current navigator yep. object and speaks it yes next line numpad 9 is next line and numpad 8 is current line and numpad 4 is previous word numpad 5 is current word and numpad 6 is uh, the next word okay and numpad 1 is previous character numpad 2 is current character and finally numpad 3 is next character okay this is very useful when it comes to uh, command prompt and uh, if you didn't hear what the screen reader said and if you want to review letter by letter uh, this method can be used in uh, NVDA okay now this is also applicable for JAWS I think I'm not sure if you know uh, any other ways to access these things very easily uh, let us know in the comments section okay now uh, Number seven, number seven. Move the review cursor and NVDA plus one. Now input. I pressed uh, insert plus one to turn off the input uh, help. Plan yeah. nineteen one eight six two twenty eight six eight three eleven seven fifteen twenty twenty five twenty four p.m. Your music. Okay, so it it reports what's going on in my uh, system, right? So now the system or or the 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 screen has been cluttered with lot of text. Okay, so if you would like to clear the screen uh, to get the empty command prompt, uh, you can type cls okay cls apostrophe bullet cls apostrophe ah sorry cls c backslash users backslash no right. okay that's one command okay now uh, if you want to go to the previous folder okay uh, now in our case we are in c colon backslash users backslash mohammed rashad okay so if you want to go to the previous folder you can uh, type cd change directory cd, CD space and i think dot 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 c backslash users greater than yeah cd space dot dot okay cd space dot dot then it will come to the previous folder 
and uh, if you want to go to the go to a specific folder now let's say in the users folder we have got let's see what we have got d i r volume drive c is with n volume serial number is 7828 blank 4058 stop let's see user blank now i'm using the uh, review cursor commands to quickly jump through the things and read the things quickly okay c backslash use volume with volume blank directory of c blank 6 6 25 20 20 12 30 a.m. der 8 13 6 25 20 20 1 55 p.m. der public 0 file s 0 okay, c let's backslash. see public now let's say i want to move to the public Commit. folder so i can type cd C D space and public P U B L I C Dirk does not recognize as an alternative oh, or external com C D space P U B L I C C backslash users backslash public greater than Alright now if I press D I R or type D I R and if I press enter volume drive C is with N volume serial now no it displays a whole bunch of uh, com uh, things whole bunch of folders and files which are which is in the public folder okay and uh, let's clear the screen C L S C backslash users backslash public greater than now um if you want to go to another different totally different folder you have to specify the exact path okay remember that if you uh, if you didn't specify the exact path then uh, the system will say uh, command dot recognize or something okay so this this needs uh, the exact path with uh, proper commands okay um let me see where do i want to go Hmm. Run dialog type the desktop. Okay. This Let's PC. see. Double new vault data E. Data E. Is games two or three. Okay. Game. Game C A M E S. Land. All right. Game command. So let's go to the D uh, E uh, E drive and let's go to the games folder. So you can type C D C D space and E colon E colon backslash backslash games G A M E S C backslash users backslash public greater than D I R volume drive C is with N. Ah, it didn't go. Why is that? C D space backslash C backslash greater than. Um. E colon backslash G A M E S E backslash games is not recognized as an internal. Okay, so you have to type C D space E colon backslash C backslash greater than. Why is that? C L S C backslash greater than. Desktop start window C command prompt context run meant focus run as a mixer secure test command prompt terminal C backslash C D space um E, e colon backslash G A E S C backslash Windows backslash system 32 greater than space so it doesn't go to the uh, E directory so I'm not sure why is that okay but uh, if you want now now in specific activities for instance uh, copying pay, uh, files all those things then uh, you can do this okay so i'm sorry about the inconvenience but uh, don't worry uh, i think i'm having some issues with the uh, uh, directory okay so let's leave that aside but remember you can go uh, with this command cd space and uh, exact path uh, so you can go to the appropriate uh, location okay so let's clear the screen C L S C backslash Windows. Back now, um, another small thing. So let's go to the uh, users uh, directory. C D space C, C colon, colon backslash U S E R backslash C backslash Windows back backslash. Oh wait. R X C D space C colon backslash U S E R S backslash M O O M E D R A A D backslash. C backslash users backslash modem ratchet greater than. Uh, let's go to the documents folder. Sorry. C D space D O C M M U M E S E S C backslash users backslash modem ratchet backslash documents greater than. All right, now we are in the documents uh, folder. Now, if you want to create a folder in this uh, documents directory or in whatever the uh, thing, uh, you can type M D make directory. M D space and the name of the folder. Uh, test folder. E E S T uh, let's say test. C backslash users backslash modem ratchet backslash documents greater than. All right, now it has been created. Uh, let's see whether we have got the mm, the created folder dir. Dir. Um, I'm not sure whether we can this uh, see that because uh, there are a ton of files in my documents folder. Let's so R. let's say cd. Cd space and test. T e s t c backslash users backslash modem ratchet backslash documents backslash test greater than. All right fantastic so let's get back to uh, the documents folder cd space cd space dot dot, dot, dot 
C backslash users backslash modem. And uh, let's remove our directory. So you can remove the directory by using RD, okay? R D and space space T E S T that the folder's name. T E S T and press enter. C backslash users backslash modem. All right, backslash. now it has been removed. Now the guys, now if the command is wrong, okay? It will say that uh, it cannot do that. No, let, now let's remove the directory again. R D space T E S T. The system cannot find the file specified. C backslash user right. backslash so, okay. modem. Okay, so don't worry about that. Now let's uh, see what else we have got. Um, another small thing. So let's create. C L S C backslash. Um, this is a uh, not. This is not related to file. Uh, structures now as i said there are a ton of way to uh, uh, manipulate files you can create text files and you can write contents to files a lot of ways uh, which you can use the command prompt in different different ways so i, I highly recommend you to if you would like to uh, check the online articles and videos uh, so you can uh, know more these things in a better way okay now this is a li little uh, bit of what i do uh, usually okay another small thing if you want to check what what's going on with your system like um, ip settings you can type the uh, command ib config ip I -P. config c o n c o n f i g f i g and press enter windows ip configuration oh ethernet adapter God. ethernet now i have got a ton of information let's press windows plus up arrow to maximize the screen wireless lan adapter low. okay so there are a ton of information so you, we can use the remo uh, remo um, what, what do you call that uh, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I forgot that uh, numpad 7 command uh, connection specific DF lang. Now there are wireless land adapt lang default gateway subnet mask 255.ipv4 link local connections with lang ethernet adapter vmware net lang default gateway subnet mask IP link local connection specific DNS suffix. Ah, review curse. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, lang ethernet adapter vmware network lang connection specific DNS media state. Okay, so you, you can check the IP addresses of specific devices. Now, in my case, I'm having a wireless device and other uh, network devices, so it shows all of the information regarding that. Okay, and uh, another small thing. Now, let's clear the screen as usual. CLS. If you want to check whether you have got an active inter internet connection, you can type the command ping p i n g p i n g space space and type the particular website's name www.google.lk and press enter, and it will send data packets, and it will check whether it uh, receives all those uh, things, right? Pinging www.google.lk 142.250.67.227 with 32 bytes of data. Reply from 142.250.67.227. Bytes equals 32 time equals 64 milliseconds. TTL equals 116. Reply from 142.250.67.227. Bytes equals 32 time equals 61 milliseconds. TTL equals 1. Okay, which means we have got an active internet connection. This is also a handy way of checking whether you have got uh, an active internet connection. Okay. So let's clear the screen. C -L -S -C now there are ways to copy files between uh, all those things and renaming files. Now I'm not gonna go in deep all those things because the video will get a long uh, version. Okay, so I highly recommend you to check out the online articles. Um, just type command prompt commands or expand command prompt in YouTube or in Google so you can find a ton of information okay so i highly uh, i highly recommend you to learn commands and uh, make sure that you know a uh, little bit of commands so you can uh, use these things in certain situation okay so i hope this has helped you out to get started if you didn't know about command prompt and i'm sorry for the um, errors and other things uh, in the video because this is not an organized video uh, i didn't plan anything just uh, i was talking about what i know and what i have been using uh, in command prompt okay so i i i, I hope that uh, is not a problem for all of you guys because uh, you, you have been waiting you have been uh, watching my channel for a long time so you know i'm not a kind of organized guy so that's aside uh, thank you very much for watching um yeah if you have got any questions comments thoughts ideas and if you know any anything related to command prompt let, uh, let us know in the comment section and uh, yeah um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Signing out. Momata Shard.